Okay, since I was going to go ahead and do this dance thing anyway, I decided I was going to pop back on here and uh, do just a nice little supplemental uh, addition to this tutorial. Uh, I wanted to show you something simple that you can do to really change any track. I've showed you this before, I've told you about it before, the changing the beats per minute, or uh, this I haven't gone into, even changing the project key. But I'm going to go ahead and go over this briefly here. This is only going to be about a minute and a half, two minute video. But let's say that, because this dance track that I've got it as is, I think the only thing I the only thing I changed from the last video when I was making it, showing it to you, was I increased the volume on this tech bass, this one. I uh, increased the volume on it slightly, because I couldn't hear it when it finally kicked in. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to increase it from the 95.697 beats per minute. I'm going to increase it up to 115.348 beats per minute. And I'm going to change the key to a G. Render. G. That render out right quick. Okay, so this while this is rendering out, I want to say that this dance track is more of a trance type thing, you know, more like a slower raver dance track to, to begin with. Okay, I've just increased it by roughly 20 beats per minute. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to take it up to 135 now. Got it nailed one on the head, and then I'm going to take it all the way up to a D key, and I'm going to render it out again. Okay. D. Okay. So, what I'm basically doing here is all I'm doing is taking the exact same track, I'm increasing the speed on it, and I'm changing the key. Now what I want you to do is listen through, because this is only a, ended up only, well that's because I changed the speed. As you change the speed, the length shortens. When it was at 95 beats per, uh, 95.697 beats per minute, it was all the way up at a little over three minutes at the 135 it's actually decreased to only by almost a full minute it's shortened but uh, that's acidized loops i've talked about that briefly and i'm already going over way over what i intended to spend on this little video but it bears repeating acidized loops allows you to uh, change the beats per minute the tempo everything without changing the positioning because normally on these types of things, when you change your beats per minute, like this would get stretched to uh, fit the time rather than this staying at the right placement and the time changing. I think that's right. Pretty sure that's right. The stretching is right. I'm not sure about the re uh, relation to the time to the placement and everything, but I can say that Yes, when normally when you change your beats per minute or any of this stuff, it alters the loops, the placement of them. It can really, you know, it's usually it's just slight little changes, but especially if you're just changing tempo or pitch or anything slightly. But again, the ability to just go in and say up a semitone, and well, I guess that did do that, didn't it? Did it. Maybe I'm just seeing that wrong. I thought that moved. No, it didn't. Never mind. Yeah, you know, because normally when you change a pitch, it's going to lengthen or shorten the audio track because it's got to. Uh, it's kind of like chipmunking. The only way in the past to get that chipmunking effect and it still affects the time of the track but to get it to go higher you have to increase the speed which is kinda what it's doing here it's just that what it's doing is instead of uh, 
you're able to increase the speed on this without changing the pitch, which normally is more difficult. Just, you know, it's little subtle things that like that that make Acid Music Studio really great. Okay, so I've already gone on over five minutes. That's all I wanted to do was do the rendering for you. But anyway, uh, so yeah, go ahead and listen to the original one, and I'm going to label these all so you can tell which is which, and then you can listen to the other two and hear just how different a track can sound just by altering those two things, the beats per minute and your key. I mean, it, can, it can make a dramatic change in a track. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.